seen that we have been developing over previous um, exercises, which included uh, Metablob, Snow, uh, Icicle Ecosystems and Material Layers. Just to remind you um, what we have been doing, um, that's where we're up to at the moment. You can refer back to the previous videos or do these in any sequence, it doesn't really matter. What we're going to look at in this video is how to set this in a simple terrain. So getting started, I'm just going to select the hunter, i.e. the building, just so that when the terrain comes in, it will be centered over the building. So by default, if I double click the terrain, it's a, a kilometer square. Obviously that is now totally engulfing our building. So the first thing to do is to look at reducing its size. So I'm going to go up to the third option down in this particular dialog box and I'm just going to manually resize this. Drop it down nice and small and let's have a look at where we are. We're going to carry on doing that. Okay. So again, it's been snowing quite heavily in this particular scene, as you can see. The house is engulfed by snow. We're going to dig it out a little bit. We're going to set it into this landscape. So just for the sake of convenience, I'm going to load a material. I'll put a, in fact, no, I'll do it this way. Because the snow material is going to be identical to the snow we've used on the roof, I'm going to load an object. Now this is the sphere we used in the ecosystem. I've got a material already set up. So with the sphere selected and the terrain by pr pressing control and clicking on terrain, I can right click on the material and assign that material to all of the objects that I have selected. I don't need the sphere anymore, so we'll just delete it. So let's double click the terrain again and see where we are. So we can see we've got the scene, and we can see our house. So what we need to do, as I say, is we need to dig that house out. So I'm going to go to the paint section and I'm going to look at the raise button. That's the center button on the top row of icons. But we're not going to raise this terrain, we're going to invert it, so we're going to do some digging. Now it's quite important here that we look at the size of the brush and we look at the flow. If we have it all the way down, it's going to take away material quite slowly, as you can see. You can barely see anything happening. If I take it all the way to the top, you can see it's rapid and aggressive and quite hard edged. So I want to be in a little bit more control. And I want to just decrease the radius a little bit, maybe increase a little bit more. So let's start digging out at the front of the house. I'm quite happy to just go all the way back to the base, as it were, of the terrain and start looking at this. So what I'm thinking is the area around the front of the house and the area around the log pile would be fairly well used routes. So I'm going to dig out a little bit round there, a little bit more round here because, you know, we never walk the same path twice. Sorry to get philosophical on you. And then we're going to have a, uh, a path leading to the door. So I'm just going to press the shift key so I can just move this a little bit. And I'm going to reduce the size of the brush so that we can just start looking at digging out. You can see it's been snowing quite a lot this year. Let's have a look at that. That's no good to us. Zoom out a wee bit. And let's keep on digging. A snow blower would be good at this point, but hey. I'm just going to move it a little bit so I can make sure I've gone right to the edge. There's a little bit of encroachment there. So, we've dug out... Um, I think I've dug out about as much as I want to at the front of the building. Around the sides, it's entirely up to you, but I think 
a little bit of of snow being removed wouldn't be a bad thing from the from the back and the side just to settle it into the landscape make sure it looks as though it is where it belongs um i'm not quite sure how that happened let's see if we can repair that by inverting the brush let's fill that up a little bit and then we'll look at just removing some of the snow the heat from the building would be affecting this um, build-up of snow. Again, I'm going to put some of the terrain back because it's a bit of a mess there. And just invert, reduce the flow so I'm not taking as much material away. Press the shift key to recenter so I can see what I'm doing. Oh, too much. I'm just going to smooth that off a little bit. I'm going to increase the flow because I want this to smooth quite quickly. Okay. That's not too bad. Now at the moment, these edges are a little bit too sharp on these banks here. So I'm going to try a couple of things um, just to see what happens. Let's look in effects. And in particular, I'm going to look at the diffusive effect i'm going to reduce the hardness of the rock first but here we can click once and it will complete the action once however we can right click on this tool and we can ask view to do 10 iterations at the same time okay so the snow has smoothed off quite nicely there would be a big bank here but we've also got some snow covering the path we can go ahead and remove that if we want to we can go back to raise, check that it's on invert. I'm going to reduce the radius a bit because I don't want to affect the banking too much. Okay. And we'll just apply diffusive once more. I'm also going to have a quick tinker with smoothing in terms of this area here. Because it seems a little bit large to me rotate all the time so we can see what we're doing okay it's going down a little bit there it is a much more gentle slope we'll just tinker with this around and about just to smooth the whole thing off okay so now we've been operating with this with the the hut in situ let's just switch off the scene and we can see that we've got snow build up in the house. A good housekeeper always cleans up after himself. So I'm just going to just tinker away at some of this and get rid of it. I've got too much flow. And just get rid of the snow which is appearing in the house. Let's pop the house back in and see what happens. Okay, not too bad. We haven't done any damage. I might raise it a little bit here. Um, these are the fine details that we can spend far too long on if we're not careful. Just raise a little bit of snow there. It might be an idea to try and raise a little bit in the corners. You know, places where the snow would actually... Oh, too much. Let's see if smoothing that down will do the job. That's better. Calm it down a little bit. We've got a little bit of snow build up um, in places we would expect snow build up. Reduce the power of that because I just want to have a wee bit more there. Not that much. Control Z. Reduce the flow even further. Ish. Let's see if smoothing will just deal with that. Not particularly. But does it look that bad? I don't know. It's entirely up to you and your scene. I'll just tickle it back a wee bit. Okay. So, looking into the log pile, I might just add a little bit more in there because it makes sense for the snow to build up in that particular position. And we'll click OK. 
So we've now got our terrain with a building in it. Let's have a little bit of a rotate and see what we can see. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's looking quite tidy. Let's render that quickly and see what happens. Render. Okay, it's rendered. It's a little bit too brightly lit at this moment. Let's just have a look at the post work options. That's even worse. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate the sun so we get a better idea of um, how this is looking. Unfortunately, the sun's straight on that building, so I'm just going to rotate it round to the side so we get some interesting shadows being cast. And we'll render that again and see how that looks. You'll notice whilst this is rendering that I've gone ahead and, and done some tweaking on this building based on what we've done before. I've added material layers to uh, many of the components, uh, including the ridge line and the deer, etc., to just blend it a little bit more in with the scene. If I just move the ground, we may find, let me zoom in, that if we drop the ground level down a bit, that's better. Okay, we can now see that we have exposed the snow. The ground layer was covering that up. So we have a good covering of snow. So that's a very simple terrain editing technique, just so that we can set the house into its own little landscape. Um, it's looking quite wintry. I hope it's of use to you. Um, remember to check us on social media, Facebook, YouTube, etc. for future updates on this and other tips and tricks. Thank you. Bye-bye.